What are your personal goals for the next year? Hey, Abby, what are your personal goals for the next year? Hmm, that's a good question. I've been thinking about it a lot lately. I really want to start going to the gym more regularly and get in better shape. That's a great goal, man. I've been going to the gym for a while now, and it's made such a difference. Yeah, I know. I just need to get motivated and stick to it. What about you? Well, I want to try and save more money this year. I've been spending way too much lately, and I need to start being more responsible with my finances. I hear you. I think that's something we all struggle with. But I'm sure you can do it. Have you achieved any of your goals in the past? Hey Abby, how's it going? Pretty good, thanks for asking. What about you? I'm doing all right. Hey, have you achieved any of your goals in the past? Yeah, actually. A few years ago, I wanted to learn a new language and I did it. That's awesome. Which language did you learn? I learned Spanish. It was challenging, but I'm glad I did it. Good for you. I'm still working on achieving some of my goals. Sometimes it feels like it's taking forever. I know what you mean. But just keep at it. You'll get there eventually. Thanks, man. I appreciate the encouragement. What motivates you to pursue your goals? Hey Abby, what motivates you to pursue your goals? Hmm, that's a good question. For me, it's the sense of accomplishment when I achieve something I've been working towards. It's like a rush of adrenaline that keeps me going towards the next goal. I get that. But for me, it's the fear of failure that drives me. I have this constant need to prove to myself and others that I can do it. Fear can be a powerful motivator too, but it can also be paralyzing. It's important to find a balance between pushing yourself and not being too hard on yourself if you don't succeed. Yeah, I definitely struggle with that sometimes. I guess it's all about finding what works for you. Absolutely. And remember, it's okay to have setbacks and failures along the way. It's all part of the journey towards achieving your goals. Are your goals related to your career or personal life? Hey man, what's up? Not much, just thinking about my goals for the future. Oh yeah? Are they career related? Partially, but I also have some personal goals that I want to achieve. That's a good balance. What kind of personal goals are you thinking about? Well, I want to travel more and learn a new language. Nice. How about career-wise? I want to get a promotion in the next couple of years and eventually start my own business. Sounds like you have a solid plan. I'm mostly focused on my career goals at the moment, but I should probably start thinking about some personal ones too. Definitely. It's important to have a good work-life balance. How do you measure your success in achieving your goals? Hey Abby, how do you measure your success in achieving your goals? Well, I usually set specific milestones to hit along the way, so I know I'm on track to achieving my goal. Interesting. Do you have any specific method to track your progress? Yes, I keep a journal where I write down my goals and my progress towards them. It helps me stay motivated and focused. That's a great idea. I usually just measure my success by the end result, but maybe focusing on the journey and tracking progress would be more effective. Absolutely. It's important to celebrate the small victories along the way too, not just focus on the end result. Do you have any tips for staying focused on your goals? Hey Abby, have you been able to stay focused on your goals lately? Not really, I tend to get distracted easily. Yeah, it happens to the best of us. What has worked for me is breaking down my goals into smaller tasks and setting deadlines for them. That's a good idea. I've also heard that creating a routine and sticking to it helps with focus. Definitely. And if you find yourself getting distracted, take a break and come back to it later. Sometimes a change in scenery can help too. Thanks for the tips, Alfie. I'll give them a try. What obstacles have you faced in achieving your goals? 
Hey Abby, how's it going? Not great, to be honest. I've been really struggling to achieve my goals lately. Yeah, I feel you. What kind of obstacles have you been facing? Well, it's mostly been a lack of motivation and focus. I know what I want to achieve, but I just can't seem to stay on track. I get that. I've had similar issues in the past. Have you tried breaking your goals down into smaller, more manageable steps? Yeah, I have. But even then, it's hard to stay motivated when I don't see immediate results. I understand. It can be tough to keep going when you don't feel like you're making progress. But remember, small steps still count as progress. And don't be too hard on yourself if you have setbacks. It's all part of the process. Have you ever had to change your goals due to unforeseen circumstances? Hey Abby, what's up? Not much, just trying to figure out my future plans. What happened? I thought you had everything figured out. Yeah, I did, but then my dad got sick and I had to drop out of college to take care of him. Now I'm not sure what to do. That's tough. Have you thought about going back to school or finding a job that fits with your new responsibilities? Yeah, I have, but it's hard to make any long-term plans when things are so uncertain. I totally understand. Sometimes life throws us curveballs and we have to adjust our goals accordingly. Yeah, that's true. It's just frustrating when you feel like you're back at square one. I hear you. But don't worry, you'll figure it out eventually. Just take it one day at a time. How do you celebrate when you achieve a goal? Hey Abby, I finally achieved my goal of running a 5k race. That's great, Alfie. How do you plan to celebrate? I think I'll treat myself to a nice dinner at my favorite restaurant. How about you, Abby? How do you celebrate when you reach a goal? Well, it depends on the goal. If it's something big like getting a promotion, I'll have a party with my friends. But for smaller goals, I usually just reward myself with some ice cream or a good movie. That sounds like a good idea. I think it's important to celebrate your accomplishments, no matter how big or small they are. Are your goals short-term or long-term? Hey Abby, do you have any goals that you want to achieve? Yeah, sure. I have a mix of short-term and long-term goals. What about you? Honestly, I'm more of a short-term goals kind of person. I think it helps me stay focused on what's important right now. I get that, but I also feel like having long-term goals gives me a sense of direction and purpose. That's a good point. Maybe I should think about setting some long-term goals too. Yeah, it's always good to have something to work towards in the future. What steps are you taking to achieve your goals? Hey Abby, have you made any progress towards achieving your goals? Yeah, I have. I made a list of things I need to do to achieve them. That's great. What kind of things did you put on your list? Well, for one, I started waking up earlier so I have more time to work on them. I also started reading more books on the subject to gain more knowledge. That's really smart. I think having a plan and taking small steps towards your goals is key. Yeah, definitely. What about you, Alfie? What are you doing to achieve your goals? I started setting deadlines for myself and breaking down my big goals into smaller, more manageable tasks. It's been working pretty well so far. Do you have any role models who inspire you to pursue your goals? Hey Abby, do you have any role models who inspire you to pursue your goals? Yeah, I do. I've always been inspired by Elon Musk. He has achieved so much, from SpaceX to Tesla, and he's always pushing boundaries. That's cool. For me, it's definitely my dad. He's been a successful entrepreneur for over 20 years and has shown me that hard work and determination can lead to great success. That's awesome. It's great to have someone close to you as your role model. Yeah, definitely. Who else inspires you besides Elon Musk? I also really look up to Michelle Obama. 
She's an amazing woman who has accomplished so much and is a great advocate for education and women's rights. I totally agree. She's definitely an inspiration for a lot of people. How do you prioritize your goals? Hey Abby, how do you prioritize your goals? Well, I make a list of all the things I want to achieve and then categorize them into short-term and long-term goals. Then, I give each goal a priority level based on its importance and urgency. Interesting. I usually just work on whatever task is in front of me at the moment. That's not a bad approach, but it can make it harder to achieve bigger goals. Breaking them down into smaller, manageable steps can make them less daunting. That makes sense. I should probably start doing that. Do you have any goals that require you to learn a new skill or develop a new habit? Hey Abby, how's it going? Not bad, Alfie. What's up? I've been thinking about picking up a new skill to help me reach my career goals. Have you ever done that? Yeah, actually. I started learning how to code last year to improve my job prospects. That's awesome. How did you go about it? There are a lot of online resources and courses available. I found one that suited my learning style and committed to practicing every day. Hum, practicing every day. That sounds like a good habit to develop. Definitely. It takes time and effort to learn something new, but the rewards are worth it. Thanks for the advice, Abby. I think I'll start looking for a course to take. No problem, Alfie. Good luck with your learning journey. Have you ever achieved a goal that you thought was impossible? Hey Abby, do you remember when we were in high school and I told you that I wanted to travel the world? Yeah, I remember. You always talked about how you wanted to go to every continent. Well, I never thought it would actually happen, but last year I finally achieved that goal. No way. How did you manage to do it? I saved up for years and backpacked through Europe, Asia, Africa, South America, and Australia. It was the most amazing experience of my life. That's incredible. I'm so happy for you. Thanks, man. It just goes to show that nothing is impossible if you set your mind to it. How do you deal with setbacks while pursuing your goals? Hey Abby, how's your new business going? It's going well, thanks for asking. But, I had a setback last week. One of my suppliers backed out of our contract. Oh no, that's tough. How did you deal with it? Honestly, I was pretty upset at first. But then I took a step back and re-evaluated my options. I found a new supplier that ended up being even better than the first one. That's a great attitude. I know setbacks can be really discouraging. Yeah. But I know that setbacks are just part of the process. It's important to stay focused on the end goal and not let a setback derail you. Are your goals influenced by the goals of the people around you? Hey Abby, how's it going? Hey Alfie, I'm good. Just trying to figure out my goals for the next year. Ah, that's interesting. Do you base your goals on what other people are doing? Sometimes, yeah. I mean, if I see someone achieving something that I also want, it motivates me to work towards it too. I get that. I think I'm the opposite though. I try to avoid comparing myself to others and just focus on what I want. Yeah, I can see how that could be helpful too. It's important to have a balance, I guess. Exactly. At the end of the day, we should be setting goals based on our own passions and desires, not just what others are doing. That's a good point. Thanks for the advice, Alfie. How do you stay motivated when your goals require a lot of time and effort? Hey Abby, how do you stay motivated when your goals require a lot of time and effort? It can be tough, but I try to break it down into smaller, more manageable tasks. That way... I can see progress and feel motivated to keep going. That's a good idea. I usually just focus on the end goal and get overwhelmed by the amount of work it will take. Yeah, it can be daunting to think about everything you need to do. 
Another thing that helps me is to remind myself why I set the goal in the first place. Like, if it's to get in shape, I think about how much better I'll feel once I achieve it. That makes sense. I think I'll try both of those strategies. Thanks, Abby. No problem, man. Good luck with your goals. Have you ever achieved a goal that you didn't think was important until you achieved it? Hey, Abby, have you ever achieved a goal that you didn't think was important until you achieved it? D yeah, actually I have. I didn't think graduating from college was important until I got my diploma. Really? What made you change your mind? Well, during my last semester, I was really stressed out and wanted to give up. But I kept pushing through and when I finally graduated, I felt like all that hard work was worth it. That's awesome. I think I know what you mean. I never thought I'd be able to run a 5K, but when I finally did, I felt this huge sense of accomplishment. Yeah, it's funny how goals can seem unimportant until you actually achieve them. What is the most challenging goal you have ever pursued? Hey Abby, what's up? Not much, just trying to finish up this project for work. How about you? Same here, got a lot on my plate. But you know what's been the most challenging goal for me so far? What's that? My fitness journey. I've been trying to lose weight and get in shape for months now, but it's been a real struggle. Yeah, I can imagine. It takes a lot of dedication to stick to a fitness routine. Definitely. But I'm determined to reach my goal, no matter how difficult it may be. That's the spirit. Keep at it, man. How have your goals changed over time? Hey Abby, do you remember our high school days when we used to dream about our future? Of course, I do. I remember we used to have big plans back then. Yeah, we wanted to conquer the world. But now, I think our goals have changed a bit. That's true. I used to dream about becoming a doctor, but now I'm more interested in business management. And I used to dream about becoming a musician, but now I'm focusing on becoming a music producer. It's amazing how things change over time, but I'm glad we're still chasing our dreams in our own way. Absolutely, it's important to keep striving towards our goals no matter how they change. Do you have any goals that involve helping others? Hey Abby, do you have any goals that involve helping others? Yeah, actually I'm planning to volunteer at a local shelter for homeless people on weekends. That's great. I'm also interested in doing something similar. I'm thinking of joining a community service group that organizes events for elderly people in our neighborhood. That sounds like a good idea. It's always good to give back to the community and make a positive impact in someone's life. Absolutely. Plus, it's a great opportunity to meet new people and learn new skills. How do you balance pursuing your goals with other responsibilities in your life? Hey Abby, how do you manage to balance your goals with other responsibilities? It's not easy, but I make sure to plan my day the night before so I know what tasks need to be done first thing in the morning. That's a good idea. I struggle to prioritize and end up feeling overwhelmed. Yeah, it's important to prioritize your tasks and set achievable goals for the day. Sometimes, you have to make sacrifices, like skipping a night out with friends to work on your goals. I see what you mean. It's a tough balance to strike, but I guess it's all about finding what works for you. Exactly. And remember, it's okay to take breaks and relax too. Self-care is also important in achieving your goals. Have you ever achieved a goal that you didn't think you were capable of achieving? Hey Abby, have you ever achieved a goal that you didn't think you were capable of achieving? Yeah, actually, last year I ran a half marathon. I never thought I could do it, but I trained hard and pushed myself. That's so cool. I haven't had much luck with achieving goals I thought were impossible. Don't give up. You never know what you're capable of until you try. Yeah, I guess you're right. Maybe I'll start with something small and work my way up. Exactly. Start with something achievable and work your way up. You got this. Are there any goals that you used to have that you no longer pursue? 
Hey Abby, do you remember when we used to talk about starting our own tech company? Yeah, I remember. What happened to that idea? I realized that I'm not really passionate about it anymore. I found other interests that I'm more excited about pursuing. That's totally understandable. I used to have a dream of becoming a professional musician, but as I got older, I realized it wasn't what I wanted anymore. Yeah, it's funny how our goals can change over time. But it's important to pursue things that truly make us happy. Absolutely. So what are you interested in now? I've been really getting into cooking lately, so I'm thinking of going to culinary school. That's awesome. I could use some cooking lessons from you. Ha ha, yeah sure thing. What is your biggest dream and how are you working towards achieving it? Hey, Abby. What's up? Not much. Just thinking about my biggest dream. What is it? I've always wanted to become a successful entrepreneur and start my own business. That's great. How are you working towards achieving it? Well, I'm currently saving up money and doing research on the industry I want to get into. I'm also taking online courses to improve my skills. That's a good start. Have you thought about networking with other entrepreneurs or seeking out a mentor? Yes, I have. I'm attending local business events and reaching out to successful business owners for advice. Nice. I have no doubt that you'll achieve your dream. How do you decide what goals to pursue? Hey Abby, how do you decide what goals to pursue? Well, I usually make a list of all the things I want to achieve and then prioritize them based on their importance and feasibility. That's a good approach. But what if you have too many goals and don't know where to start? In that case, I try to break them down into smaller, more manageable tasks and focus on one or two at a time. It's easier to make progress that way and stay motivated. I see what you mean. But what about when you encounter obstacles or setbacks along the way? How do you stay committed to your goals? I remind myself of the reasons why I wanted to achieve those goals in the first place and how they align with my values and aspirations. And I also seek support and guidance from people who have gone through similar experiences. Thanks for sharing your thoughts, Abby. I'll definitely try to apply these strategies in my own goal-setting process. Have you ever had to sacrifice something important in order to achieve a goal? Hey Abby, do you ever feel like you have to sacrifice something important to achieve your goals? Yeah, definitely. When I was studying for my exams, I had to sacrifice my social life for a while. I know what you mean. I had to give up my hobbies when I started my own business. It was tough, but it was worth it in the end. Yeah, sometimes sacrifices are necessary to achieve our goals. But it's important to make sure it's something we're willing to give up. Absolutely. It's all about finding a balance and making sure we're not sacrificing too much. How do you celebrate progress towards your goals? Hey Abby, have you made any progress towards your goals lately? Yeah, I have actually. I finally managed to save enough money for that new laptop I've been wanting for months. That's great news. How did you celebrate your achievement? I treated myself to a fancy dinner at my favorite restaurant and bought myself a small gift as a reward. That sounds awesome. When I achieved my goal of running a marathon last year, I celebrated by taking a weekend trip to a nearby beach with my family. That's a nice way to celebrate. I think it's important to acknowledge and reward ourselves for the hard work we put into achieving our goals. Absolutely, it helps us stay motivated and focused on our next goal. Have you ever achieved a goal that you thought would bring you happiness but didn't? Hey Abby, have you ever achieved a goal that you thought would bring you happiness but didn't? Yeah, I have actually. I always thought that getting promoted at work would make me happy. But when it finally happened, it didn't feel as great as I thought it would. I know what you mean. I used to think that getting a lot of money would make me happy, but when I finally made enough, I realized that it wasn't the answer to all my problems. Exactly. I think it's important to have goals, but we should also remember that happiness doesn't come from external factors alone. 
Yeah, you're right. We should focus on the journey, not just the destination. How do you deal with the fear of failure when pursuing a goal? Hey Abby, have you ever been afraid of failing when trying to achieve something? Yeah, of course. It's a pretty common feeling. I know, but I always struggle with it. Sometimes, I feel like giving up before even trying. I understand. But you have to remember that failure is not the opposite of success, it's part of the process. You learn from your mistakes and keep going. That's a good point. But what if I fail miserably? It's okay to fail, as long as you learn from it and keep trying. Remember, every successful person has failed many times before they achieved their goals. You're right, I need to change my mindset. Thanks for the motivation, Abby. No problem, anytime. Just keep pushing forward and believe in yourself. Are there any goals that you are afraid to pursue? Hey Abby, have you ever had a goal that you were too scared to pursue? Yeah, definitely. I've always wanted to start my own business, but the thought of failing and losing all my money is terrifying. I totally get that. For me, it's traveling alone to a foreign country. I've always wanted to do it, but I'm scared of getting lost or something bad happening. It's tough when fear holds us back from pursuing our dreams, but we just have to take that first step and see where it leads us. You're right. Maybe we should encourage each other and take on our fears together. That's a great idea. Let's make a plan to conquer our goals and support each other along the way. Have you ever pursued a goal that you later regretted? Hey, Abby, have you ever pursued a goal that you later regretted? Yeah, I have. Last year, I wanted to get a promotion at work, so I worked long hours and missed out on spending time with my family and friends. But in the end, I didn't get the promotion, and I realized that it wasn't worth sacrificing my personal life. I know what you mean. I wanted to run a marathon, but I didn't train properly, and I injured myself during the race. Now, I have a permanent knee problem, and I regret not being more cautious. That's tough. But at least you learned something from that experience. Yeah, I did. I learned to set realistic goals and to take care of myself. How do you deal with criticism from others when pursuing your goals? Hey Abby, how do you deal with criticism when trying to pursue your goals? Oh man, that's a tough one. But for me, I always try to listen to what the person is saying and see if there's any truth to it. If there is, I try to take their advice and improve myself. But if it's just negative comments with no real substance, I try to ignore it and focus on my own goals. Yeah, that's a good approach. I always struggle with taking criticism personally and letting it get in the way of my goals. Yeah, it's tough not to take things personally sometimes. But remember, criticism is just another form of feedback. Use it to your advantage and keep pushing towards your goals. Thanks, Abby. I'll keep that in mind. Are there any goals that you have achieved that you are particularly proud of? Hey Abby, it's been a while since we last caught up. What have you been up to lately? Hey Alfie, not much really, just been working on achieving my fitness goals. That's great. I remember you mentioning that you wanted to lose weight and get in shape. Yeah, it wasn't easy, but I'm proud to say that I've lost 20 pounds and can now run a 5k without stopping. Wow, that's really impressive. I've been trying to save money for a down payment on a house, and I finally reached my goal last month. Congrats, man. That's a huge accomplishment. How do you stay motivated when your goals are not progressing as quickly as you would like? Hey Abby, how's everything going with your fitness goals? Honestly, I'm struggling. I've been working out consistently and eating right, but I haven't seen much progress. I totally get it. It can be frustrating when you're putting in the effort but not seeing the results you want. Yeah, I'm starting to lose my motivation. Don't give up just yet. Sometimes progress takes longer than we expect. Remember, it's not a race. You're right. I need to be patient and trust the process. Exactly. 
and if you ever need someone to work out with or just talk to for support, I'm here. Have you ever achieved a goal that required you to step outside of your comfort zone? Hey Abby, how's it going? It's going good, thanks. How about you? I'm doing great. I just achieved a goal that required me to step outside of my comfort zone. Really? What goal was that? I've always been afraid of public speaking, but I decided to sign up for a speaking competition at work. After some practice and nerves, I won first place. That's amazing. Congratulations. How did you feel during the competition? I was nervous at first, but once I started speaking, adrenaline kicked in, and I felt more confident. It was definitely outside of my comfort zone, but I'm glad I did it. How do you stay focused on your goals when there are distractions around you? Hey Abby, how do you stay focused on your goals? I always find myself getting distracted. It's tough, but I try to eliminate as many distractions as possible. I put my phone on silent and turn off notifications on my computer. That's a good idea. But what if there are other distractions around you that you can't control? I try to remind myself of my end goal and how important it is to me. And I also make a to-do list and prioritize my tasks so I can focus on what's important. That makes sense. I think I'll try that out. Thanks for the tips, Abby. No problem, Alfie. Good luck with staying focused on your goals. What advice would you give to someone who is struggling to achieve their goals? Hey Abby, how's it going? Not great, to be honest. I'm struggling to achieve my goals. Oh no, what's happening? I just feel like I keep hitting roadblocks and setbacks. It's really demotivating. I know how you feel. I was in the same boat recently. What worked for me was breaking my goals down into smaller, more achievable steps. It helped me to feel like I was making progress. That's a good idea. I'll try that. And remember, it's okay to ask for help or advice from people who have achieved similar goals to yours. They might have valuable insights. Thanks, Alfie. I appreciate your advice. Have you ever achieved a goal that you thought would make you happy but didn't actually make a difference in your life? Hey Abby, have you ever achieved a goal that you thought would make you happy but didn't actually make a difference in your life? Yeah, definitely. I always thought that getting a high-paying job would make me happy, but it just made me more stressed out. Same here. I thought that buying a fancy car would make me happy, but it just made me paranoid about it getting scratched or stolen. It's funny how we can get so caught up in chasing these things that we think will make us happy, but they often end up just causing more problems. Yeah, I've learned that happiness comes from within and not from external things. How do you stay positive when pursuing a difficult goal? Hey Abby, how do you stay positive when you're working towards a tough goal? Hmm, that's a good question. I usually break down the big goal into smaller achievable milestones, which keeps me motivated. Also, I remind myself of the reasons why I started pursuing that goal in the first place. Yeah, that's a good point. Sometimes, it's easy to forget the end goal and get lost in the process. Do you have any other tips? Absolutely. I celebrate small wins along the way, which keeps me optimistic and energized. And I try to surround myself with positive people who believe in me and support me. Nice, those are some great tips. Thanks for sharing, Abby. Anytime, Alfie. Good luck with your goals. Do you have any goals that you are currently procrastinating on? Hey Abby, what's up? Not much, just trying to figure out what to do next. What about you? I've got a lot of goals that I should be working on, but I keep procrastinating. It's really frustrating. Yeah, I know what you mean. I've been putting off going back to school for a while now. Going back to school? That's awesome. Why haven't you done it yet? It just seems like such a big commitment, you know? But I need to do it if I want to advance in my career. I hear you. I've been wanting to start my own business for years, but I keep finding excuses not to. 
Maybe we should hold each other accountable and set deadlines for ourselves. That's a great idea. Let's do it. How do you deal with the feeling of being overwhelmed when pursuing a goal? Hey, Abby, how's it going? Not good, Alfie. I'm feeling really overwhelmed with my new project at work. I don't know where to start. Yeah, I know the feeling. When I was studying for my exams, I felt the same way. But what helped me was breaking down the goal into smaller, manageable tasks. Hmm, I never thought of that. How did you do it? Well, I made a list of all the things that needed to be done, then I prioritized them. I started with the most important and worked my way down the list. It made me feel like I was making progress and it was easier to see the end goal. That's a great idea, Alfie. Thanks for the advice. No problem, Abby. Just remember, take it one step at a time and you'll get there. Have you ever achieved a goal that required you to make a significant personal sacrifice? Hey Abby, how's it going? Not too bad, Alfie. How about you? I'm doing well, thanks. Hey, do you remember when I was training for that marathon last year? Yeah, I remember you were super committed to it. Well, I actually achieved my goal and finished the marathon, but it required a significant personal sacrifice. What do you mean? I had to give up a lot of my free time to train, and I had to make some lifestyle changes to ensure that I was in the best shape possible for the race. But it was all worth it in the end. That's amazing! Congratulations, man. Thanks, Abby. It was definitely a challenge, but I'm glad I did it. How do you stay motivated when pursuing a goal that is not popular with the people around you? Hey, Abby. I'm feeling a bit demotivated these days. It's hard to pursue my goals when everyone around me seems uninterested. I understand how you feel, Alfie. But you shouldn't let other people's opinions affect your passion and drive. I know, but it's easier said than done. Sometimes I feel like giving up. One thing that helps me stay motivated is focusing on my own progress and growth rather than seeking validation from others. That's a good point. I guess I need to remind myself why I started in the first place and keep pushing forward. Exactly. And don't forget that success often comes from doing what others won't or don't believe in. Do you have any goals that you have been working towards for a long time? Hey Abby, what's up? Not much, just hanging out. How about you? I'm doing all right. I've been working towards a goal for a long time now. Oh really? What's your goal? I've been trying to run a half marathon. It's been a challenge, but I've been training hard for it. That's really cool. When is the marathon? It's actually coming up in a few weeks. I'm pretty nervous, but I feel ready for it. I'm sure you'll do great. What inspired you to start running? I was feeling really out of shape and wanted to challenge myself. Running seemed like the perfect way to do that. That's awesome. I'm glad you found something that motivates you. Have you ever achieved a goal that required you to learn a new language? Hey Abby, have you ever achieved a goal that required you to learn a new language? Yeah, I learned Spanish to travel to South America. That's cool. I also had to learn French to work in Montreal for a year. How was it? It was tough at first, but I took classes and practiced a lot. It was worth it in the end. I know what you mean. Learning a new language can open up a whole new world. Definitely. Plus, it's a great way to challenge yourself and improve your brain function. How do you stay motivated when your goals require you to do something that is uncomfortable for you? Hey Abby, I'm having a hard time staying motivated to reach my fitness goals. It's just uncomfortable for me to exercise regularly. I totally understand what you mean. It can be tough to push ourselves to do something that we don't enjoy. What helps me is finding an accountability partner or coach to keep me on track. Also, try breaking down your fitness goals into smaller, achievable steps. 
That way, you won't feel overwhelmed and will be more likely to stick to it. Those are great suggestions, thanks Abby. I think I'll look for a workout buddy to keep me motivated. No problem, happy to help. Remember, staying motivated is all about finding what works for you and committing to it. Are there any goals that you have achieved that you wish you had pursued earlier in life? Hey Abby, have you ever achieved a goal that you wish you had pursued earlier in life? Yeah, I wish I had started learning a new language earlier. I only started a few years ago, but I feel like I could have been more fluent by now if I had started earlier. I know what you mean. I always wished I had pursued my passion for playing the guitar earlier in life. I only started taking lessons a few years ago, but I could have been playing for so much longer if I had started earlier. It's never too late though, right? Yeah, that's true. Better late than never, as they say. What is the next step in achieving one of your goals? Hey Abby, how's your goal of learning Spanish going? It's going well. I've been practicing every day for a few months now. That's great. What's your next step for achieving that goal? I think I need to start speaking more with native speakers. Maybe I'll look for a language exchange group. That's a good idea. It's important to practice speaking with others to improve your fluency. Yeah, I'm excited to try it out. How about you? Have you made any progress on your goal of running a 5K? I have. I've been training consistently and I just signed up for a local 5K race next month. Awesome, good luck with the race.